So banana hazelnut crepes that you can use basically any pancake mix. And today I am making some banana crepes with some hazelnut spread. So banana hazelnut crepes that you can use basically any pancake mix for it. But I have something special I like to use and I'll share that with you. And then I'm making my soft scrambled eggs and some uh, just ready-made sausage. This is an easy breakfast. I guarantee you can find time to make this. So let's get started. I'm just using a small measuring cup. This happens to be four cup, but you don't even need something as large as this because it doesn't take a lot of ingredients. My first ingredient is going to be my uh, crusties, and this is actually a waffle mix, but I did tell you, and I'm serious, take any pancake mix that you have, ready-made pancake mix, and you can make these crepes. I just happen to like this crusties, and it does make, a, I guess, a little lighter crepe, but it still is very good with any pancake mix. And I cheat and I like to write my recipe on the side so that I always have it when I pull out my mix. And it's going to take a half a cup of mix and it's going to take a third cup of milk and I'm going to be using almond milk, two tablespoons of water and one egg. And I'm going to put the egg in here first. And wouldn't you know it, I got a little bit of shell. So I'm gonna fish that out. So I have one egg and I'm just going to whisk it a little bit. I'm going to add a third a cup of milk and I'm using almond milk and I'm just going to whisk that a little bit. And then I need to add two tablespoons of water. One, two, I'm gonna whisk that a little bit. And then I'm going to slowly add my dry ingredients. It might come out of here a little faster, but I'm just gonna stir this up a little bit at a time until it's well blended. Scrape down the sides. And make sure you get it all around the sides of the bowl or your measuring cup or whatever you're mixing in. It is well blended. It's runny, it's thin. This is not going to be as thin as perhaps the crepes that you get in a restaurant. It's more like a very, very thin pancake, but it is as close to a crepe as you can get without having the actual crepe skillet and the special equipment, so. At least that's my story and I'm sticking to it. So let me get the uh, skillet on. For our breakfast meat, we're just having some breakfast sausages. These are the heat and serve. They take about a minute and a half in the microwave. I'm just gonna put them in a dish and they take about a minute and a half. I'm just doing a partial pack. I decided to let my crepe pan just cool down a little bit because I decided I wasn't quite ready for that. I'm going to get my uh, soft scrambled eggs started and this is a uh, I sprayed the pan just with some nonstick spray I'm not using anything except for the eggs and I'm putting four eggs in there's two of us my husband and I eating breakfast oh I got a double yolk woohoo always wish that was eggs over medium when I get that lucky double yolk I have this set at uh, just a little over medium, not quite medium high. I, it's a number five on my LG. And I'm going to break the yolks up. And let those just cook naturally without any milk, without any water. I will add some butter. I think this cooled down just a little bit. I just had it too hot too soon. Down. It doesn't take very long to make the crepes once I put the batter in the skillet. I'm going to get the crepes started. Give them one last stir here. And you can measure out the batter if you'd like. This is a one third cup measuring cup. Eggs are starting to cook. 
and turn this down a little bit. Just softly folding them, turning them. As I said, these are soft scrambled eggs. You can cook them whatever way you'd like. Some people add milk, some people add water. I think that they're fluffier just cooking the eggs by themselves. I'm going to turn this down just to keep them warm all the way down to two because they're really almost done. And I'm going to put a little bit of butter on my eggs. Just something we like. Buttered eggs. My mom used to do this when I was a kid. I can see my crepe bubbling over here a little bit. Let me take, give you a peek. I'll have to keep a close eye on that to make sure that it doesn't overcook. Keep those scrambled eggs turning. I'm going to turn the burner off on the eggs. They are done. You can see that, goodness, only took a couple of minutes. I'm going to check on my crepe. Just pile these to the side to keep them warm but moist. I don't want to overcook them. But they are done and we will salt and pepper at the table according to what we like. I decided to set the eggs aside and cover them with a lid to keep them warm. And I have the crepes now. I just moved the crepes over. It's looking like it's set up pretty good. Let's give it a flip. Fairly light. I had it on a low temperature today. Sometimes I go a little higher. But either way, the it's getting cooked through. And as you can see, it's sort of a thin pancake. But let me wait till that sets up a little more. Let's check out the other side of this crepe. Well, that looks great. I'm going to get this off and start another one. And then I'll show you how to put the hazelnut spread on and the sliced bananas. While the second crepe is in, I'm going to show you how to cut up the banana and, and the uh, hazel use the hazelnut spread. I didn't get this one quite as round, but it tastes great no matter what it looks like. I have a banana that I'm going to slice up for my banana hazelnut crepe. Cut that little end off, take the little strings off. And this is my hazelnut spread. It's Berry Hill from Aldi. I really like it. Can you smell it? Oh, it smells so good. I'm gonna put some on here. Nice serving here. Yum. Just spread it on the crepe. You might have to hold it down a little bit. My husband's finishing the other crepe for me in the background. Because he wants to eat too. Ah, oh, that looks delicious. Slice up some banana. About a half a banana per crepe. Spread it around. Fold it over. Oh my gosh, that looks delicious. You can add some powdered sugar if you like, but we're not big powdered sugar fans. So there's the banana Nutella crepe. The second crepe is ready, some more Nutella. This one may not be perfectly round, but who cares? It tastes good. Put some of this, spread this around. Mm, yum, yum, yum. This is supposed to be good for you too. It is made with hazelnuts and chocolate. Some more sliced banana. We have a third one. We're getting three out of this batch. So three crepes. I'm gonna save a little bit of banana for the last one. Just spread these around here. Fold it over and another crepe. Let's get the eggs and the sausage and Get some breakfast, let's eat. Breakfast is ready, I have my soft scrambled eggs, my uh, sausage that is already pre-prayed, I just have to microwave it, and my beautiful banana Nutella crepe. Let's eat. I hope you enjoyed this recipe. If you did, please give me a thumbs up. I invite you to like and subscribe and follow my channel. As I said, this is just one of my many recipes from my Thrifty Recipes let me give you a last look at what I'm having for breakfast. Time to eat.